G'day folks, Skypod here, welcome back to my channel. I haven't flown the Echine Nano LR3 for a little while. This is the Dual 18 650 little long ranger. Last time I flew this, the GPS wasn't picking up any satellites, so hopefully this location I'm at now is going to be a little bit different, so I can uh, head her out to the tower over there and see how long range this little 18 650 is. Uh, 400 milliwatts of VTX, not too sure about the antenna placement. Nice little cruiser this is guys, I've done a few reviews of it and as you can see I have put a strap around the two bi-ion batteries. They don't fall out without a bit of a knock, however if you do have a bit of a fall uh, and it drops out you're not going to be able to locate your quad very easily at all. Uh, as it won't be transmitting any GPS telemetry so I've just got that strap in there just to hold things together and hopefully I won't need to go for a hunt let's get her up before our batteries deplete too much hopefully we've found some satellites now and let's have a fly oh there we go 400 excellent all right I'm going to be really light on the sticks, folks. Yeah, this isn't a powerhouse. It is not a freestyle quad. It is a pure cruiser. Slow and steady. Nice long range flyer. Okay, 150 meters. 400 milliwatt VTX. I know my TBS won't have a drama with that, but fairly certain my 400 milliwatt VTX will probably only carry for around a kilometre. Let's have a look shall we? Let us know in the comments how far you guys have gone before. I do have a patch antenna on my... Oh, bit of break up there. I do have a patch antenna on my sky zones. I am trying to look the correct way. <laughs> A little bit of break up there. Just be a bit careful here. Okay. 600 meters. Be fairly happy with a kilometer. I just need to keep an eye on. Let's go up a little bit higher, shall we? 700 meters. I'm going to be turning it, folks, at a kilometer either way because no. Oh. Uh, I just hope I've got my... Yeah, there we uh, look better picture now. Lost. Oh, hello. Okay. Not too sure what happened there. Well, I do not happen. I've lost telemetry, but I don't know why. Uh, my crossfire shouldn't have had any troubles. 700 metres away. Let's gain a little bit more altitude, shall we? I'm fairly certain I can go a kilometre with this. In the interest of, uh, I know when I put that antenna on its side, I do tend to get a bit more pickup, so let's just try and face the other way a little bit. Here we go. Alright, I'm pretty sure we're going to crack up there, Alan. Yes, okay, one kilometre. Uh, return to home, please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, where is home? Oh, goodness me. Uh, yeah, impressed guys. Uh, I must admit I'm returning a little bit faster than I took off at. <laughs> a kilometre. Um, you're heading directly away from yourself. I, I'm not too sure that the, the VTX is working that efficiently. Um, as you can see, when, when you're facing on its side, I'll explain what I mean shortly. But when you're on the side, it's... Um, 
looks like it tends to pick up signal a little bit nicer let's head over here shall we got a little bit of power left flight time so far they're looking at around four minutes just keep the altitude nice and high so I don't duck up over the hill nice VTX on this either way folks I think you'll agree yeah let us know drop a comment if you have gone a lot further than what I've done with this VTX you can see I'm floating around here quite nicely 13.5 little bit of power left not a great deal though it's probably time we started to keep our heading back Let's head over the oval that is no longer green I'm actually looking in completely the wrong direction, so this is uh, done really well. Five minutes flight time, 3.5, so you can actually take this down to around 3.2, so I think I might just do that. 3.3 will do the job. Make sure there's no one in the car park. She's a little bit windy now. Oh, a little bit of flapping around there. I've never attempted to go under there. Could always have a shot, couldn't I? Hey, what's the worst thing that can go wrong? I could completely lose signal. Okay, this will be a real signal test, guys. Oh, that was... Oh, that was sketchy. <laughs> sketchy, but successful. All right, 3.3, .3, let's bring it home. Finish off with a bit of line of sight. Yeah, nearly a uh, seven minute flight time. You do need to be careful with these lie ions. When you get too low on power, they just fall out of the sky. You can see what I mean by that antenna, it's sort of sticking out to the back rather than up in the air, so... Yeah, I wasn't too sure about that. I think this antenna could probably be modded so that it sticks upwards. Uh, I think uh, I was having trouble because I was facing the antenna directly at the rear. The second I moved to either side so that I'm projecting uh, my goggles to the side of the antenna, the yeah, the quality of the VTX range picked up. So I think uh, I might do some mods on this and lift a, another circular polarized up to the sky here. And I think we can probably, with that 10 minute flight time, I think we could easily push uh, one and a half kilometers with this uh, without too much hassle at all. Let us know guys, have you gone further with the LR3? Thank you. Be really interested to hear. Thanks heaps for stopping by. As always, drop us a comment, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys real soon. Bye for now.